I predict that in the next generation of technology for English language learning, we're going to be seeing a lot of automated tools. We're going to be seeing some artificial intelligence, and we're going to be seeing an expansion of virtual reality, big data, and the Internet of Things. From one perspective, all of these can be intertwined and work together. I've been working with many students recently on creating instructional materials for home automation devices, such as the Amazon Echo and Google Home, these digital assistants are commercially available for people to use to, uh, as a personal assistant. These devices allow users to interact with information from across the net solely through speech. So they get to speak questions or commands, and the device will do something in response, either answer, provide information, or perform some function with a device in the house. These can also be used in the classroom. Uh, in fact, we have a number of computer labs that I am in charge of as the director of our Language Resource Center, and we have put one of these devices in each one of the classrooms. At the most basic level, students can ask for information from a web search, and they, instead of typing it, they get to speak it, and they get to hear an auditory response, and also visually see the web pages that are, see the web pages that are a result of that. At a more advanced level, they can engage in extensive conversational practice with these devices. While they receive feedback on their pronunciation, their sentence construction, the content of their questions, etc. The kinds of projects that my students have been working on include creating trivia games, or adventure games that allow students to ask questions, gather information, engage in scavenger hunts, and really take this kind of interactive speaking experience in many, many different directions. Um, there, it's pretty exciting what's happening right now. What be possible in the future is really interesting. And a number of people are, are preparing for these sort of things. However, it's not really the kind of thing that companies are commercially preparing yet, specifically for English language learning. I think we'll also see a greater adoption and a wider array of virtual and wider array of virtual and augmented reality. Of course, virtual reality means you're creating an experience that is immersive, that isn't actually real. You're not actually in a place, but you can pretend to be in that place. Um, you can imagine that you're in that place. And when you are in this environment, you have a contextualized experience that supports your practice with another language. Now, augmented reality is um, emerging. You're probably familiar with the Pokemon Go craze that um, kind of took the world over uh, recently. This is an example of augmented reality, and it was you know a worldwide game where people were using mobile devices in order to gather these. Um, digital creatures that they would find all, all around the world. However, augmented reality can also give you additional information about any location that you happen to be. So, so you might have information related to the weather. You might have information related to another language, related to historical events that have taken place in the actual physical location where you are. Um, you may be able to find out about social events that are happening. As you're walking down the street, holding your phone in front of you, you can see this information as a kind of extra layer on top of the real world. Um, the potential for using this information in language teaching is enormous. And if we as teachers and teacher trainers can help to create that kind of information ourselves, it allows us to take um, these learning experiences out into the real physical world. And, and that sounds fantastic to me. So I'm really excited about a lot of these different things that allow people to have um, meaningful, authentic, real, real world practice. Now, we'll definitely also be seeing a wider distribution of internet access across the globe. In particular, the Global South is currently seeing an increase of investment in telecommunications infrastructure and this will bring more people into the connected world. Currently, approximately 50% of the Earth's population has access to the internet, and 66% have cell phone access. And these have been rising dramatically in recent years. So hopefully, as this access increases and these kind of cutting-edge technologies increase, we'll have more opportunities for everyone to engage.